Hi everyone, welcome to Curiosity episode number 31. This is a May episode, so first we will see the roundup of the news stories from the last month. So as some recording this, we are facing through one of the worst heat waves in the Indian history. You know, so entire India is grippling with extreme UV light and heat. And uh, most probably this is this has something to do with the climate change because we keep on breaking the hottest month of the year record uh, in Delhi, for example, March had been the hottest month of, uh, you know, for for the last 130 years. So it's it's really bleak the the future. This is not time to be optimistic and dream better. We have to do that in action. There is a climate action and a UN Sustainable Development Goals. Everything, isn't it? So the only option left to us is embrace a lifestyle of sustainability friends it's you know it's it's affecting all of our life the heat wave is tremendous you know so another very important news from the last month is the spacex the crew of four private astronauts have uh, landed docked of course their falcon uh, you know the rocket have docked with the international space station this is a, a massive boost to space tourism first time in the history that iss ever hosted the space tourists uh, this contingent of the four tourists or men american men super rich tourists of course they will stay there for a week you know and another uh, alarming story from the last month is uh, a story by uh, from the down south the the tamil nadu uh, the river kaveri uh, the uh, you know the environmental toxicologist assessed the blood sample of the the fish from the kaveri river and they did detected the microplastics in it. So microplastics are everywhere, isn't it? So now coming to the, the primary papers, the research papers published from the last month, nearly half of all old adults now die with dementia. So it is it's very difficult and it's alarming again. Dementia, the importance of dementia, of course Alzheimer's is also a kind of a dementia, isn't it? So loss of cognitive function, Right? That is what the dementia is all about, the declining cognitive function. So it's up from 36 percentage from two decades ago. So the dementia thing, you know, it's it's actually increasing now. And we don't know why a dementia in the elder population is increasing. And blood donation, you know, that is uh, now led with reduced toxic forever chemicals in our bloodstream, including microplastics. So, you know, so we really don't know the health implications of the microplastics. Maybe it's correlated with cancer too. So regular blood donation can help to reduce this toxic forever chemicals. Remember the microplastics detected in fish in Kaveri River, you know. So, yes, so and there are several studies that says that regular blood donation will uh, help you to increase your life expectancy too. So the third story is that the men are less religious in countries with more gender equality. So progressive countries, people are, especially men are less religious. Very interesting, isn't it? So more progressive countries also are less religious. That is also a general trend in the world. Fourth story is that the girls raised by Jewish parents are 23% more likely to graduate from the college than uh, you know, non-Jewish or bringing any other religion included. Very interesting study. So they tend to articulate a self-concept marked by ambitious career goals. So, you know, the Jewish, the, the traditional Jewish families are really uh, into female education. That is very, you know, very interesting finding, isn't it? Fifth, law belief in evolution was linked to the racism in Western Europe. So the people who discredit Darwin and the theory of evolution are tend to, you know, tend to be racist. Very interesting, isn't it? In Israel, the people with higher belief in evolution were more likely to support peace among Palestinians. So if you tend to believe in evolution, you are more progressive and you are peace loving, isn't it? Uh, and Arabs and Jews, all this, right? Uh, it's it's very interesting. In Muslim majority countries, belief in evolution was associated with less prejudice towards Christians and Jews. So it kind of dissolved the religious and ideological barriers, right? Six, 
people who endorse in conspiracy theories tend to be more religious <laughs> you know a lot of stories about religion and this may be due to the ideological overlap right so if uh, a quote from that paper i really like it scholars have noted the similarities between religion and features of the conspiracy theories but the nature of this overlap is uncertain some researchers have suggested that two beliefs fulfill similar psychological needs such as morality belonging and sense of control so both religion and conspiracy theories promise all these avenues seventh story turning back in the clock human skin cells deaged by 30 years in trial very interesting epigenetic reprogramming for anti aging cosmetics have got uh, uh, you know uh, implications of this study right 30 years back in time how did they do that the so called partial epigenetic reprogramming by four transcription factors tf so the tf is actually on off of our uh, skin cells genes so they they own four genes you know so that that means they they start expressing right so the author is from japan yamanaka they found four transcription factors that when expressed together can turn any cell from you know in the body any cell like skin cells into they 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 throw them back into the pluripotent stem cells in which they can grow any in to any other cell very interesting isn't it so just by four transcription factor immense implications this has got for anti aging research eight stories that intermittent fasting well i'm a, a, a big time proponent of this internal intermittent fasting well what the science says is that it doesn't work much you know comparing with the uh, regular dieting right it's one year long uh, longitudinal assessment set so volunteers who were told to eat only during the day lost as many uh, as much weight as those people who are dieting without time restrictions over 12 month plan but of course there is a lot of takeaways you know for example it's harder to uh, skip a meal during the evenings than mornings right so this study were concentrating on the evening so it challenges your will power right so of course but still the study makes sense that if is not a magic amulet right uh, yes yeah, so sticking with a diet plan itself is not that easy for many of us now scientists at the kyoto university managed to create a dream alloy by merging all eight precious metals into one alloy you know so this uh, eight metal alloy shot ten fold increase in catalytic activity in hydrogen fuel cell so this kind of alloy especially platinum based alloys are important for uh you know for uh, creating of the hydrogen so hydrogen is touted as one of the cleanest energy source right if you burn the hydrogen the product is just water right nothing better than that right so uh yes yeah, so the hydrogen is a very very important fuel so uh, the catch is that you need a excellent converter so earlier we used to do that with the platinum but now this eight metal alloy is 10 times better what are these eight metal alloy in it gold silver platinum palladium rhodium iridium ruthenium and osmium all these are precious metals going to be very expensive isn't it tenths and last story of the month is that mit engineers have created a series of tests to figure out why the cream in oreo cookies stick just one side very interesting right so i'm sure they're competing for a nobel prize to be announced in howard university just next door from the mit isn't it Uh, sooner so let's see you will they win the thing or not so when when i came across this uh, you know something came to my mind is about chaos theory and butterfly effect maybe because of that you know so when you start uh, you know spinning this oreo so whatever the cream layer have already started changing its shape you know and then it it uh, it actually is something like a cascading effect so that is the reason why it is actually sticking more and more to only to the one side maybe that is the reason but pretty interesting isn't it coming to the observances the general un observances include 3rd may is world press freedom day press freedom friends is very very important and anonymous reporting of the journalists is also extremely important 12th is plant health day health of the plants are extremely important isn't it uh, yes yeah, so it's all about the diseases of the uh, you know the edibles so yes yeah, so we really need to have more trained plant pathologists to address this one right 
one of the uh, reddit subreddit which i follow is something called plant clinic very good uh, it gives you suggestions if you're a gardener uh, you know and if you have some plants showing some symptoms of disease you can just ping uh, a pick in the plant clinic the you know members are really enthusiastic to respond to you help you out very interesting 14th is world migratory birds day 16th is international day of light and it's also a day of full moon also known as vesak you know 17th is world telecommunication and information society day 20th is world b day bees the populations are shrinking everywhere in the world friends and the consequences are going to be alarming tremendous right bees are pollinators master pollinators right and 21st is cultural diversity for dialogue and development another very important un observance 21st is international tea day allow teas but not as much as coffee i would prefer coffee but teas are also really good right uh, yes so the 21st is a celebration of the tea 22nd is international day for biological diversity very important day you know may 22nd of may biodiversity day international day for biological diversity and 31st is no tobacco day the day against smoking and tobacco coming next is the astronomy related events all our binocular events and sky view app is is still the best the very best the one what i recommend all of you free app right just point out to see that you know all these events first may is a venus jupiter conjunction and also partial solar eclipse unfortunately you will see if you are in uh, uh, antarctica you can see a little bit 40 percentage and of course the countries in uh, south america like paraguay uh, nicaragua peru chile you will see a little bit of uh, solar eclipse but uh, most of us the rest of the world we cannot see that Sixth is Eta Aquarid Meteor Shower and eighth is Eta Lyrid Meteor Shower. Twelfth May is a good day for M5 constellation to, to see it. And sixteenth, May sixteenth is a total lunar eclipse. Again, you know, uh, it's not visible here, but in some places around the world you can see the, the, the lunar eclipse. You know. And flower moon, the, the full moon day, of course, the lunar eclipse always happen only on the full moon day, right? And this full moon day in the May is known as flower moon. 22nd is moon Saturn conjunction, while 25th is moon Mars Jupiter conjunction, three celestial bodies conjunction. 27th is moon Venus conjunction. 28th is good day to see M4. And 29th is Jupiter Mars conjunction. So several conjunctions are uh, they uh, are going to happen in the month of May. So I'm looking forward to it with my little uh, bit. You know, it's a very small Zeiss uh, binocular I have. I also have this uh, Skyview app. So I'm going to witness all this celestial drama happening right next door. You know, just go to the, your backyard and watch your sky. There are several opportunities for the young researchers and scholars and students, including CERB, NPDF. The call is open now. The deadline is 1st June. EMBO Global Investigators Network is also open for students and young investigators. EMBO Global Investigators, they do have grants too, you know, 1st June. And there are several opportunities. Please check it out. The link is in the show notes of this video. And also please check out our young Academy of India's Facebook page where our enthusiastic volunteers, they ping several such uh, interesting science related, curiosity driven science related news and also opportunities for the young investigators and students. So please check out and the, the show notes of this show is available, uh, you know, available in the, the link. Please check out the show notes. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to this channel by just clicking at this link here, right here to subscribe it and to share it in your relevant groups. Okay. And I hope you all will be having a, a fantastic and productive May. My very best wishes. And uh, unfortunately, the COVID cases are rising. So please follow the guidelines, including the mask mandate. Several of the states have mandated wearing of the mask and uh, yes general uh, hygiene also if you haven't gotten a vaccine please go and get yourself vaccine that will be a good help not only for you but also for 
people around you in your family and your friends group so see you next month in the month of june looking forward to it till then take care and goodbye